and it's time for another R&R &R episode. And some people may be offended by this video. And if you are, I'm sorry, but I, I feel like I have to start speaking some truth about this because it's something I see a lot, and I've touched on it recently. This is just a continuation of the last two R&R &R episodes, but uh, I think I've learned a lot recently and in the last couple videos, I talked about the stuff, I don't know, people are writing in the comments, and then it led into a video about how not everyone is like you. Uh, everyone thinks that it seems like that other people think the exact same way they do. Well, I want to tell you a, a story that's something that happened fairly recently. So I have, there's some people around um, in this community, if you will, that are fans of our show, and they help me out in various ways. So there's one guy uh, this, the, who I, I'm going to speak about as far as um, something I learned recently. Um, he was, a, uh, he's a, is or was a big DID fan. Um, he, what he actually did, he made a couple of burner uh, YouTube accounts, uh, like Gmail, you know, YouTube accounts that I had access to to do test runs uh, for our episodes, and he also had Google Drives on each account. One of them had older scenes, one of them had newer scenes. He had quite a collection of scenes. Um, and then he ended up trying to do a Turkish drive as well. And, you know, he was a, a big fan of the Ohio Venom scene and actually removed the video from the old channel he used to have because I asked him to. You know, he was uh, um, helping us, supporting us, doing what he could. So one day... He sends me an email recently, a couple weeks ago, and says he's deleting all of his accounts, that he basically has become an addict, um, that he has a problem, that his life has been destroyed by all of this, that he wants to delete everything. Now, I ran in and changed the passwords real quick and told him how I did that. I was like, I need those accounts. I've been using them. And he didn't care if I kept everything. But, uh, you know, I may use some of the, the scenes from the drives, even though they're not full episodes sometimes, and I can't make edits, KK episodes, without full uh, source material. But uh, it's really hard anyway. They come out like crap. Also, I like to do my own recordings, so I have the best video uh, quality possible recordings or downloads. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I, I had to... Um, do that and you know it was eye-opening he said that he's a pornography addict that he's a DID addict and he's lumped them together now that it's uh, finding the scenes that it took over his life and it's ruining him it's destroying him and you know it's funny because this was always like a, a passion of mine certainly I never would have considered it to be an addiction of mine. That's the thing. I don't feel like I have an addiction problem. As far as the amount of time I put into this, though, however, that is going to be a lot more than most because I turned my, my hobby and my passion into a business. Uh, when I converted this into this business, the amount of time I put into it um, is applicable to you know what any other YouTuber, well, probably a lot more because editing the stuff uh, recently anyway, those last four episodes of the show, um, uh, crazy. But no, I mean, I, I turned it into a business, whereas, um, you know, some people I feel like have problems. I think there's some people out there um, watching our content that have a lot more problems going on than you know. I really do, that this is, um, it's not healthy for some people. I mean, we, I, we've all heard stories about, you know, pornography addicts and sex addicts, you know, Tiger Woods, or you know, whatever. Uh, but, uh, no, I mean, obviously, you know, and I, I you know, I, I respect this guy's decision. I mean, it's, for someone to come out and say, this is destroying my life, that this has ruined my life, that my, whether it's his personal life suffering, whether you know, he's, it's upending everything about his life. I don't know what it's doing exactly, but for him to come out and admit that and make a change is pretty impressive. 
Um, and it, it just, you know, puts it into perspective. I mean, do you, do you feel like you have an addiction problem or are you, is this, has this taken over your life? Have I, have I contributed to your addiction? Have I, has my channel, has my content, um, you know, helped to destroy your life? I ho certainly hope not. Uh, I mean, I just, I don't think about it that way. And if, you know, obviously that's a person's, uh, individual's personal problem. If it is, it's certainly nothing I'm trying to do. And, um, I don't know. I, I don't, that's what I want to talk about this whole thing, because I, I've spoken about it before and I get into debates with people on occasion, not really debates, but more like a, a firing match uh, sometimes on, on YouTube and on DeviantArt and other platforms. I've been very outspoken about what some of you would call not mainstream DID, which is not DID. It's trash. Um, I'm sorry. It's, it has nothing to do with what we cover here. And I guess what I'm getting at is something like this. This is a video that I got recommended on one of these burner account channels recently um, as I was on the YouTube homepage and I left a comment in it. Uh, it's a newer video. Somehow it's not even age restricted yet. Hopefully the, the trash channel gets shit canned. Um, but I even saw some of our viewers in the comment section and I'm sorry, but that is not normal. And I want to talk about this. I want to give you an example. So some people, when you talk about these, this ridiculous excess bondage, this ridiculous never ending tape wrappings, rap, uh, uh, mummification is a, is a fetish. And uh, I mean, that's, you know, I, that's some kind of, I don't, I don't know what to say. Um, I, I don't know. I, I don't, want to I don't want to judge people anymore. That's the thing. I'm not trying to judge anybody as it is that I am. I, I, my perspective has changed from the, the guy who told me he has an addiction and he's leaving all of this to some of the stuff I am seeing now when it comes to like that image and this excessive fetish bondage stuff that some of the people who like what we do also like that. Um, I just... I. I, I if you had two people sitting at a bar, okay, and one of them ordered a Bud Light and the other one ordered a Miller Light, okay, a Coors Light. There were three of them, and they each had a different beer. One of them just ordered a Coors or just a Budweiser. It wasn't a light beer. Well, you would say that those people all have different preferences, okay? That's their preference. People use this term a lot for this stuff. They'll say, well, that's just my preference. Okay, so if you had all these people ordering this different kind of beer, that's their preference, all right? So if you have someone tell me, I like a, a classic gray silver duct tape gag, and then another person said, well, I like a cleave gag, and then another person said, I like white tape, medical tape, and then the other person said, I like black electrical tape, and then the other person said, I like a white detective gag, what I call in my writing the Disney princess gag. If you said that, I'd say, well, that's, that's your preference, okay? Now, back to the bar analogy. If all those people are sitting there drinking a beer, and then one person walks up to the bar, jumps up on the bar, opens a tap, and puts their face in the tap, and covers themselves in beer on the, on the bar like that with the other people watching them, I don't think those people are going to say, well, that's just his preference. That's just his preference to... To, to take all the bottles and pour them on himself. I don't think you would call that a preference. I think you would say that person needs help and that person is some kind of addict. If the person came in and sat down and ordered 50 beers of the same kind, you would not say, well, that's just his preference to drink 50 beers. You'd say that person has a problem. Do you see what I'm getting at? If you're into watching 
a woman get taped up again and again and again and again and again and her mouth wrapped around again and again and again and again and her ankles and her elbow not ankles i'm sorry elbows and knees and thighs again and again and above the breast i've never understood that because like women wear bras underneath the breast to push them up you know so i would think that you would just want to tie underneath to put i don't know i i never really understood that one but this excess again and again i think that's a drug addiction problem i don't think this is a preference i think that people that are into this have some kind of addiction problem um that's what the the, the, the deviant art the stuff on there my god um you know no i i can't I, i'm not <laughs> if you take this personally i'm sorry but i have to speak about this because i just don't think this is normal um and i saw uh you read and, and again what happens is so if you see a uh, mainstream scene or also known as scene uh where there's this soap opera clip someone uploaded recently where the woman gets multiple pieces of tape put on her mouth and in the comment section so this is so rare for a mainstream scene like anytime you see that when it, and it is rare for a real scene and there's a reason why because it doesn't do anything. And I wrote in the comments, I wrote, you know, the point of putting tape on the, on the, the point of using a tape gag is to seal the lips. I said, you can't seal lips by putting tape on top of tape. Think about it, right? Does that make sense? Also, you know, it locks up the mouth muscles too. Um, and if it's a wrap around, then it applies extra pressure on the jaws. But again, one layer, is no different than multiple layers. That is the thing. That is the drug addiction problem. And my problem with it, ultimately, as an artist, is it looks like shit. It looks terrible. That picture I posted looks bad. It's really bad. And again, if you see, um, you know, a woman at a bar, uh, you know, having a beer, okay. If you see a woman in a bar, uh, you know, drunk as can be smelling like alcohol falling on the ground you know pouring the alcohol of the tap on herself i don't think that looks very good i don't know i i think it's the same thing i just i just think it's the same thing i think that there's some kind of addiction problem here um with people who think that that is a, a normal thing and i'm not trying to judge i feel bad because i don't have it so, like, when I see people doing this stuff now and, and paying for that and then hearing this guy's story about the fact that he his life was being ruined by all of this and he had to change his life and stop watching it completely, which that is not going to be healthy either because this isn't I – don't, I don't know the psychology behind this. I don't know why we are the way we are. Um, I was born with this interest. I, I don't know what anyone else would say I, if it's something uh, something they acquired later in life. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's the difference. Maybe if this interest in this is something you acquired, um, you know, in your teenage years or something post puberty, that maybe it's all purely sexual and that addiction stuff is, you know, part of, you know, the, the kids who became addicted to pornography on the internet. I don't know. Mine was acquired way before that time. So maybe that's why I have my interest and it stayed the way it is. I don't know how it works. Um, but I know that I see some of this stuff and I just, I have to feel bad. And again, it would be really, I think it's unhealthy to try and suppress this. Um, if you have it, you have it for a reason. It is, that, that is your preference to like this. However, um, like I said, uh, the overboard and the overkill, I think that is just a symptom. That excess bondage stuff you see in these videos and these pictures, I think that is a symptom of something much greater and much worse and probably something that needs addressed. Or you're going to end up like the other guy melting down. Um, and much respect to him, again, if he's watching this, but he's probably not. He probably deleted all his channels and he's done. And I appreciate uh, the help he gave me, giving me those burner accounts. I'm still using them. Um, but, 
Yeah, I, I just I don't know what else to say, man. Uh, again, I, I'm. I'll probably. <laughs> I left a comment on the one. I'm probably done. Um, you know, even acknowledging this stuff anymore, writing. But like I said, I I feel like, um, you know, what's that? That Michael Jordan, uh, that GIF. Get the the meme, the meme, the gift. Get stop it. Get some help. That one. Uh, I I don't I don't know. I, I think I, I want I want people to get help if they've got a problem like that. But um, I, I don't know. It's interesting uh, for sure. But let me know in the comments what you think about that. And again, if I offended you, I'm I'm sorry. I just I just can't call that a preference anymore. It's not it's not a preference. <laughs> it's it's weird. Um, but uh, that's all I got. Hopefully you don't hate me now, but I had to get that out there. I'm probably not talking about it again because it's just, it is what it is. Um, if you have a problem, I hope you seek help. But uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you.